Before we get into the weeds, a quick refresher course. You can access your notifications by swiping up from the middle of the lock screen or by swiping down from the top of your home screen. They can appear either in the notification center or as a banner at the top of your display and as a red dot in the corner of an app, which is referred to as a notification badge. All this can be configured by opening the settings app and clicking on notifications. Here you have your general notification settings as well as individual app settings, which can also be accessed from the notification center by swiping left, choosing options, followed by view settings. Now that we're up to speed, let's make your notifications really useful. The first step to making your notifications really useful is to group your apps into three categories. In the first group are those apps that you want to be notified about immediately. Telephone calls, messages, and emails will all fall into this group. Next are apps that are less important, those that you would be happy to only be notified about periodically, say news apps, Facebook, Instagram, and that sort of thing. The final group is for apps that you have absolutely no interest in receiving notifications from. Maybe for instance, games or other types of apps that you rarely use. With iOS 15, Apple has made sorting your apps into these groups easy by introducing scheduled notifications. Scheduled notifications apply to the second group of apps that we categorized, those that do not require your immediate attention but which you would like to be updated about periodically throughout the day. You can set up scheduled notifications by opening settings, clicking on notifications, and enabling scheduled summary. The first time you enable the setting, you'll be taken through a wizard where you can choose the apps you wish to include in this category. Click on show more to go through all the apps in your library. Only add the apps that you want to be notified about periodically. Don't include in this list any apps that require your immediate attention or that you don't wish to be notified about at all. We shall deal with those in just a second. By default, you'll receive these notification summaries twice a day, once in the morning at 8 a.m. and again at 6 p.m. However, you can customize the time to suit your needs and you can add additional time throughout the day if you prefer. You can add apps to your summary at any time by enabling them down here in this list, which you can sort either by frequency or alphabetically. If you'd like to be able to see a preview of the summary in advance of the scheduled time, you can enable this option here, and it will be displayed in your notification center. It's worth noting that some apps have an additional time-sensitive option, allowing them to ignore any time restrictions you may set on them and to notify you immediately, even if your phone is set to do not disturb or focus mode as it is now called. A good example of this is an appointment reminder. I can enable time sensitive notifications in my calendar app to ensure that I don't miss important meetings, even though I may have do not disturb enabled. Note also that when an app is added to summary and time sensitive notifications are disabled, you'll no longer receive alerts. So you don't see the alert section in the app's settings. You will, however, still receive the little red dot icon if you choose to keep badges enabled and you'll receive the notification when your summary is available. Back on the main notification settings screen, you'll see that your apps will now be set to either scheduled or to notify you immediately. If you remember our three categories from the start of the video, we'll now deal with those apps that we have no interest in at all. I'll scroll through the list looking at everything that is set to immediate and pick out the ones I'm not interested in. For example, I have no interest in receiving notifications from Game Center, so I'll disable allow notifications. You can see it's now listed as off. I'll keep going through my list and I don't use the iTunes store anymore, so again, I'll disable that one too. Having gone through your list of apps in this way, you'll now have them sorted into three categories, immediate, scheduled, and completely disabled. You're all set to receive notifications at a time that suits you. If this process seems a bit tedious, you may prefer to customize your notifications as you receive them by swiping left and choosing options. Here you can choose to mute the notification for an hour or a day, add the app to your scheduled summary group, or disable notifications from the app altogether by clicking turn off. 
Finally, for apps that you're happy to receive notifications from at any time of day, you have the ability to customize the alerts you receive. Under alerts, you can set how you wish to receive the notification, whether you wish to make the banner temporary or permanent, and whether to play a sound. For all notifications, regardless of whether they are immediate or part of your scheduled summary, you can choose whether to show a preview of the content, say a text message, for example. And you can also choose to group notifications either by the Apple default view or on a per app basis. So that completes our look at iPhone notifications. Visit the website for lots more tips on iOS and all your favorite apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you give me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick videos like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.